Okay, so this tutorial um, is about colliding with objects and then picking them up. So I had a question, um, what if I crash into a bag and I want it to look like my character is holding that bag, um, how do we do that? And so that's what we're going to do in this in this lesson here. So we're going to start up Unity, we're going to do a new 2D project, possibly. There we go, 2D, turn off analytics and find a space for it Dropbox. courses put it in here why not and new folder oh wrong this is the wrong place there we go unity new folder unity basics pick up stuff and we'll open it there. Okay, so all we're doing is creating a new project. I like to create everything from scratch. Repetition helps. This one shouldn't be too bad. Um, be a little coding in this one. If you're not way into coding, that's okay. You will be by the end of this one. All right, so I'm going to drag in some glitch assets. Remember, we use a lot of the stuff from Glitch the Game. And uh, we need a character who's going to pick an object up. So we need a character, we need the object. And we also need um, some kind of ground. So I'm just going to use this as my ground. Isn't that right? So where is... Well, I didn't even get a new camera in here. So I am just going to make a new project. I want it to look exactly like everybody else's. And mine didn't show up with any camera here by default like it normally should. So I, instead of doing that, I'm going to just create a new one. We'll call it pick up two. Let's see if that'll work. Hopefully. Sorry for the delay. There we go. Now we've got a camera. So I don't know what was going on with that other one, but um, anyways. So let's bring in our glitch PNGs. And I'm just going to use this yellow as a as part of the ground. And I can scale it up. And then we go to main camera, change color. So I'm going to kind of jam through this stuff pretty quickly because I've covered this in other, um, other tutorials. Um, we'll give this thing uh, physics 2D and give it a box collider. Uh, now we need to find the character. Let's see, any characters in here that look good? What does that one say? Framer, Ranger. And it really doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter what we use for our character in here because um, the idea is we just need to have a character. Yeah, this looks good. Bring this thing in and you can use any, any character you want and then we just need to find an object um, that that character is going to pick up. Uh, let's see. Here, how about nice dicer? This thing, I don't want that. Uh, delete that out of there. Let's see, I thought. Well, here we go. How about a chicken? <laughs> that works. Okay, so we will cruise around in our chicken, and then we're gonna pick up this little coin, and I'm gonna scale this thing down. And the idea is that uh, we will control our chicken and then when it collides with this coin then they're gonna move together as one so it kind of it's kind of like the chicken picks it up um, and we could do it as you know this we could use physics maybe and have the chicken push it but then that would be kind of weird so we're just gonna leave it like this and have the chicken um, pick it up when it collides with it so for this thing we're gonna add uh, physics to the circle collider for this thing let's leave it up here like this and I'm gonna scale it down even more and then our little chicken, uh, I'm going to add a component, physics 2D box collider, and also add a rigid body to this thing. And then if you notice the box, I know it's probably kind of hard to see, but maybe on your screen you can see it. The box collider around this chicken is kind of gigantic. And so I'm going to shrink the Y component down like that. So now it's going to look like it's walking on uh, this ground. So if I hit play, what's going to happen? 
there we go. Here's our little chicken, and it's going to pick this thing up and sort of drag it around with it. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, write a script to move the chicken and then handle the collision and uh, um, make this thing become a child of this chicken. That's the idea. So let's create a script. So we start script. We will call it chicken controller. And we will drag that over to my chicken. I'm going to shrink these down so we have a place to put it. And let's open this thing up. There we go. Okay. So this is on our chicken, so we're going to quickly go through our update loop. And I am just going to, uh, you know, normally we would write all the controls, but for this example, I'm just going to use the D key to move to the right. So if input dot get key, key code dot D, we'll move to the right. Vector to oh, position equals transform. Uh, position and I'm and I like I said before I'm going through this part kind of quickly because you can see this stuff in more detail in other videos but uh, we'll increment our X and again this isn't the best way to do it because these hard-coded numbers are bad but that's fine and then we'll say so then transfer dot position equals position so we make a temporary var variable we increment the X value we reset our position, and that is going to allow us to um, start walking. Let's see what happens. So if I hit D, there goes my chicken. And right now he, he bumps into this thing, which is fine. But instead of just colliding and sort of doing this sort of thing, we want this uh, little coin to become a child of our little chicken. And so we will do that by uh, collision. So void on collision enter 2D collision 2D. So we're overriding this method, which means if you want to handle the collision, um, you're going to have to type this in exactly how it's written. Um, case sensitivity, all that sort of stuff. If you don't type this in exact, this whole line right here, um, it's probably not going to work. So make sure your everything looks right. If something is not working, come back and double check your spelling, your cases, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so this function is going to get called when uh, the object that's attached to the script collides with something. And so uh, what we're going to do then is if it's colliding with that little coin, then we're going to reassign the parent of the coin. That makes sense. So let's take a look at how do we know that we're going to collide with a coin. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tag on this thing to uh, be a coin. So with this object selected, I've got my little coin selected, and come up here to tag, and we're going to say add tag. I'm going to hit the plus button again. I'm way over here, and I'll call it coin. I'll go back to my coin, go back to tag, and now coin should be in our drop down, and there it is. So now I can check the tag of the object I collide with. And if it's a coin, then we can do something special. So if call dot game object dot tag equals coin, then we can do something. So again, this case sensitivity matters too, but it's just got to match what you chose up here in this tag, and it can be anything you want. So if we collide with a coin, then what we want to do is set the coin's parent to be this thing, this chicken controller. So I can say call dot game object dot transform dot parent. So what are we doing? This col, this collision 2D object is the object that we collided with. So in this case it's the coin because we do this check right here. So then we're going to set that game object's transform dot parent equal to transform dot parent. Right, so transform.parent in this case is our chicken because this script is attached to our chicken. So we're saying the coin, which is call.gameobject.transform because we just did a check here, 
coins parent equals the parent of the script. So what happens when we do that? Nothing? Why not? Hmm. Well, let's see what's happening. So let's put a print here, so debug. It's always good to, double, to go through some troubleshooting stuff too. Uh, colliding with object tag. Right. So now, if in our chicken controller, if we collide with anything, and this is right, uh, we will see this th this message who we're uh, colliding with. Oops. I put this. All right. Let's see. Okay, so now this says colliding with untagged. That will be our ground. Colliding with coin. Okay. Then let's put another debug in here. So we know we made it this far, and it was in the right spot. Okay, I'm just going to put it in here and let's run it again. Let's see. Colliding with coin. Oh, parent equals transform dot parent. So that should be all working. Why not? Well, that should work. How about set parent. Let's try this. Oh my gosh. Why was I typing that in there? It should just be transform, not transform.parent. That makes no sense. There we go. So now, all right, I will explain what I was doing wrong. I'll be honest, I'm about on about two hours sleep. So now the coin is attached to our little chicken. And however the chicken moves, the coin moves. And it's because, and if you look over here up in the left, the, um, the coin is now a child of this chicken. So anywhere the chicken moves, the coin's going to move. And uh, the reason, I don't know why, I, was, I had typed in transform.parent this whole time. And that makes no sense because the parent of the chicken is nothing. And so I was setting the parent of the coin to nothing. But I don't want that. I just want it to be transformed, which means set the parent of what we collided with to be the chicken. And uh, that's where I was thinking weird. So uh, the other thing I want to add, let's add a move left in here as well so that we can detach ourselves from the coin. So let's say if this is an A, then we'll minus. And let's see what that does. So notice when we start, our chicken and our coin are two separate objects. We collide, and now the coin becomes a child. I can move backwards, and the coin is always going to follow my chicken, like this. But at some point, maybe we want to drop the coin. So we'll say if we press S, we will drop the coin. And what we're going to do in order to do that is we're going to write another script. We're going to attach it to the coin, and whenever we hit S, we are going to set the parent uh, to nothing because that's how we want to start out. We want it to be in this main tree here. 
Um, and if we do that when it's attached to the chicken, it will act like it's dropped. And if we do it um, when we don't need to be doing it, it's okay because it's already set there. So let's create a new C Sharp script and we will call it coin controller. And we'll attach it to the coin. And we're gonna say if input dot get key down key code dot s we just want to set our parent to nothing transform dot parent equals null and that should be it let's see what happens so the only part where this might not work right away is if when we set its parent to null, it'll detach from our chicken. And if in the way it's detaching, um, it is collides again, then this thing will reattach it. So let's just see what happens. I don't even know if that made any sense, but let's just see what happens. Uh, let's run. Okay, chicken walks, we're attached. If I hit S, there it goes. So now it's attached, and if I'm walking backwards and I hit S, it'll drop it. And I can pick it up. If I'm walking forward and I hit S, it just reattaches because it collides again. So backwards and S, it's gone. Stuck. There it goes. So there's a million different scenarios when you would want to drop it, but this is how I coded it, and it works pretty good. Not perfect, but it works pretty good. And that is how you would pick up stuff and sort of have it attached to you. So again, the, the key pieces are this, on collision inner 2D, and then double check the tag, we add a tag. And if it's the right object, then set the parent of the object you're colliding with, which in this case is the coin, right? Call.gameObject.tag is coin, so call .tramp GameObject.transform is the transform of the coin. Uh, set parent to transform, which means set the parent to the object that this script is attached to, which is the chicken. And uh, although I fumbled through it, that is a way to attach an object. And then to detach, we just set the transform.parent to null anytime there's a key code S. And if you're going backwards, you're not going to collide with it right away, so it will actually detach. And that is it for that one.